channel if you're new here thank you so much for taking the time joining in checking out what we're doing on this side of the camera I really do appreciate it and of course if you've been here before you know my heart I appreciate you and your time also so happy Friday and this is Friday Sews I know that I have not <laughs> been on here in a while I you know present my content um, every Tuesday and so on Fridays there's not always a lot to talk about but I am here today I want to say thank you to the sewing community for watching the channel supporting uh, you know the other channels us sewists artists creators whatever it is we do while we get on here and chat about what we've been doing and a little bit about life. And so I want to give thanks also to Jen at Today in Jen's Sewing Room for being the creator of this hashtag, hashtag Friday Sew. So what have I been up to? Well, I have started on my fall clothing now last year for the fall i made quite a few pieces so there's not a lot of things i need in my wardrobe this um this fall so i'll be making several things because i love to sew but a lot of these things probably won't stay in my closet long before I send them off to whomever I may decide to give a couple of pieces to. But this week alone, I sewed, I started working on my pink and purple group. Um, last Tuesday, I featured my pink jumpsuit. And then out of that group, I had a pair of culottes a shirt and like a cardigan and I actually made this week I made cardigan shirt and culottes as scheduled and then I also made like another cardigan and um and top so I have been really busy this week however I didn't do any sewing yesterday, which was Thursday. I will probably do a little bit today. And as I always say, I don't really do a lot of sewing on the weekends. But I did go to Joann's yesterday to look at the Vogue pattern. And one of the patterns I bought is this Marcy Tilton and it's Vogue 8975. Vogue 8975. This is what the line drawings look like. Now, I'm going to tell you, I really like this pattern. I'm not really sure why. The bagginess of the dress reminds me like a 1920s I don't think they had these big pockets on them I'm not sure it's not the 1920s but it gives me that you know a thought of that and then um, I do like the big pockets so I picked up the pattern I'm gonna go out and shop for fabric for it and I want to get it made up it's one of those dresses that 
not necessarily my style but looks very interesting now i'm hoping i do like it because it certainly looks very comfortable but it's a little bit weird to me especially the jacket like this jacket that's on it i don't know i don't i really don't know but i am going to make it so i'm gonna get some fabric I was going to do the short sleeve so that I didn't have to do the jacket, but I don't know. I'm going to get fabric and I'm going to get contrasting fabric. I'm going to plan to make both pieces, the dress and the jacket, but I don't know. I might just end up making the dress. So it's Marcy Tilton. Her patterns are, her designs are a little... A little weird to me but I don't know I'm attracted to this pattern so I am going to do it I bought a couple of others um, this is these are older patterns this is Vogue 1914 I do really like this it's my plan to do this um, top and bottom and I don't know how well you could see it, but there's like an extended piece back here that makes it really, really, really cute. Yeah, really cute. I have a black knit that I'm going to use to make this. So it's not part of the purple and pink, um, but I do have a taupe and black group that I'll be making and that's probably when I'll do this pattern right here. The other pattern I bought, this is an older pattern too. This is 2021. This is Vogue 9345 shirt dress. 9345. And I think I want to do um, A, view A right here. So this is a shirt dress. Here's the line drawing. This is a shirt dress and I am thinking about participating in the shirt dress. I don't know the hashtag, but so Rena um, talked about it and I see a couple of people participating. So I have to look at her video again to get all the details. But I'm thinking about participating. I like shirt dresses and I want to use this. Now this does come with the flare skirt portion or the straight. I, I like both, but because of the amount of fabric that's needed for this, I may end up doing the straight um, skirt. It's really not too bad. 60 inch fabric, which is I'm sure what I'll purchase is three and three eighths yards of fabric. But if I go with the straight version, it's like two and a half, two and five eighths. So that's a yard difference. And of course the cutting is different when you're cutting the flare and when you're cutting the straight. So I'll have to see what fabric I like for this. And then I'll decide if I'm gonna do the flare or the straight and then the final pattern i picked up yesterday was vogue 1907 1907 i i liked this when i saw it i put it back i picked it up i liked it live drawings look like that but i don't know i'm thinking about taking it back when i got home I wasn't sure I like it, but I don't think it's something I want to make for myself. So I haven't made a decision. But anyway, those four patterns are not in the current color grouping I have that I purchased for the fall, but I do like them. So the bag one, I know I'm going to go ahead and get that made up. And then Tuesday coming up, you'll see my video and you can't see everything right here, but that's the pink, pink and purple collection that um, I'll be 
be showing. And then I'll be moving on to the next group, which will be the navy. And I really think when I purchase the fabric for the bag dress, I'll purchase it so it blends with my navy grouping. So that's what I have been up to. I, um, I'm working on a quilt. I'm almost done. I um, have been participating. I, I sometimes join in on Friday nights on the um, Zoom with Anne Marie's workshop. And I was so insist the Laura put out a challenge, uh, 24 and 24. So I did 24 quilt blocks. And I think I'm going to go ahead and put them together. I've shown the start of them on a Friday Sews a while back. But I think I'm going to go ahead now and put them together and actually go ahead and bind the quilt and so on. You know, um, it's the quilt as you go. So I don't have to do any long arm type thing on it. I just put, it, put the 24 blocks together and put the binding and the backing on it. So I'll be working on that. I won't be finished till the end of the year, but it's something that I pick up every now and then so that I can be finished by the end of the year. So those are the things that I have been working on. I'm tempted to make a bag, but I don't switch out my bags a lot. So I make these really cute bags and then I don't, I don't really carry them and I love them, but I forget about them because I pretty much carry the same bag all of the time. Anywho, <laughs> I will make a decision about that. So just a little bit about life. What I am doing this weekend is um, I need to change my diet. Even though I thought my eating habits were pretty much on the healthy side, they are, but I need to do a little bit better. So I have been sitting down this morning and in my notebook, <laughs> I am making a list of everything that I like to eat. And then I'm crossing it off. I'm crossing off the ones that are really not the healthiest, which means like I'm a rice lover, but I didn't know that rice contained sugar. I knew the salt, but I didn't know that rice contained the sugar and salt. And this is because you get older, you want your journey to be good you know you want to make sure that you're doing the things that you can do to maintain a healthy body a healthy lifestyle so that you can be around to see the kids grow up the grandkids grow up and be around to help maybe teach some of these young people how to do some sewing so that's what i'm doing this weekend making my list and then going to the grocery store to make sure that these things are in my pantry now i don't know put it in the comments below let me know how you grocery shop because i used to shop every week pretty much for what we were going to eat that week. There are times I shop monthly and then I just go to the store in between, um, you know, to get whatever I need. And I'm trying to figure out what the best way is. I kind of like going every week shopping for what I'm cooking that week, you know, maybe making a list of what we're gonna eat this week, but I end up going off the list so many times. So what way do you do your grocery shopping? I, I really think I like the idea of every week. It can be tiresome, but yeah, I kinda, kinda like doing it that way, so. 
that's all that has been going on here um, with Donna's things. You know, fall is coming or fall is here calendar wise, but we still have some pretty hot days. So even when I was sewing my purple and pink collection, I was like, this is a crepe knit. Do I want to be sewing this right now? However, I did it, although I won't be wearing it right away. So, thank you so much for watching the channel. I really, really do appreciate it. Spread some love this weekend. Spread some joy this weekend. It's a lot going on out here in this world. And every now and then, more often than not, we need to see a smiling face. We need to receive that love and that joy. It gives us that mm to keep going in the things that we are doing. Thank you so much. Hit that like button. Share my channel. We um, Subscribe. I couldn't think of a word. Subscribe if you will. I really do appreciate it. But ring that bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a video. And even though this is Friday sold, I don't know if you watch my Tuesday video. I hope that you will. But just a sneak peek. Oh, yes. Come back Tuesday so that you can see what this is all about. Thank you so much. Bye.